Hi everybody, it's Madeline or Maddie Gab 2012 coming at you today with a week 23 update, I do believe. I hope it's 23. I've stopped counting. So I just make these videos on Mondays and um, I think last week was 22. <laughs> so hopefully it's week 23. But um, anyway, got lots of interesting things in our life. At least I think I'm, they're interesting to talk about and wanted to update you on. Um, let's get started with the numbers. I first started out at, um, at, at 253 something, point something, um, way back in. June of 2013, and um, actually I was 247-ish, 48-ish in June, and then I, after my first nutrition visit, I find it funny that I did gain like five pounds. <laughs> I think I went into food mourning, and um, then uh, over the course of the summer, I lost about five pounds, so when I first started my pre-op diet, um, oh, on October, on no, September 30th, when I started my pre-op diet, I was at 247.4, I do believe. 247.4. Um, last week, I came into you with a weight of 171.2. And this week, I come into you with a weight of... Believe it or not, 169. Yay! Yay me! So, um, that's another loss of 2.2 pounds. And actually, I think, um, I think it was the week before last, was a big drop of like 4 pounds. And then last week, I think I did like 2 pounds. And then this week, again, like another two pounds. So, I mean, really, um, it's interesting because I didn't think I would lose that much uh, this week. So, um, that gives me a grand total since pre-op diet of 76 point, no, 78.4 pounds. So um, I'm pre pretty pleased with that, really pleased with that. Well, how are things going? Well, let me tell you. So far, so good, I think. I think I'm pretty in a pretty good place. Um, the exercise progress is going well. In fact, uh, next Monday, I'll be signing up for my 10K that I'm going to do May 10th here in my hometown. They have a new, well, relatively new outdoor mall, and they're going to have, the race is going to start there and wind through one of the newer neighborhoods in the back. So it should be pretty scenic and pretty nice. I've been out in that area, and it all, it's um, pretty nice in the streets. The pavement is new, not a lot of variance in the streets and things like that. So currently where I try to uh, train, um... I have similar pavement. There's a similar pavement and similar um, roads in my area, too. So, uh, hopefully that'll go well. Um, and I try to... I My original goal was to do a half marathon. But I wasn't getting in enough running time, I didn't think, to really realistically do a half marathon. Especially if I had to go travel out of town and pay hotel fees and stuff like that. I wanted to be feel really prepared. And so I couldn't do that. And then when I saw that my town was having a race, then I said a 10K, that would be perfect, I think. Um, and since spring break, I've been trying to do like one 10K at least a week. And so far, so good. Um, I'm still running it in about one hour and 29 minutes. My goal is to get to 115. My ultra goal would be to get to 110. Um, hopefully, right now what I'm working on is just the stamina to keep running for longer distances. And I think it's a mental thing more so than a physical thing because in my neighborhood where I run now, I have stop and start points. 
and I've made stop and start points all along the way and I think mentally I know that this is my stopping point so I should be stopping and I think that's really what's keeping me or hindering me uh, at some times and sometimes even in my mind when I'm saying okay you can do it you can do it you can do it then I stop saying you can do it and my body stops so I don't know I think it's more of a mental game rather than a physical game that keeps me stopping and starting and stopping and starting as far as the training during the 10 K. and I'm you know if I can continue to um, shorten my distances of walking I think I'll be okay and I tried doing that this past weekend where um, because I have some shorter streets in my neighborhood that lead out to the neighborhood that run parallel to each other normally I'd, I when I turn the corner I'd run the length of the street length of the block and then I'd walk the side of the block and then run the length of the block walk the side and so this weekend I tried doing that every other block instead of every single block so I would I would uh, run the length of a street run the side and run the length of the next street and then walk and so I tried doing that and that was okay for my first time out um, so hopefully this time when I do it again next weekend it'll be better um, Let's see. So the exercise front is good, I think. Um, I'm also, I'm still doing the running club, uh, as I mentioned, at my school. I'm still running out there with the running club. And then um, one day my daughter had, um, had late arrival at school and she didn't have to be at school until late. So I was able to get up and do a, a 5K that morning. So I was really pleased with that. Um, hair update. Since I've gotten it dyed, I don't know if it's since I've gotten it dyed, I can just do not be in denial and delude myself, but it looks like it's growing back. I feel like it's growing back, and I feel like it's filling in more so the, what do you guys think? I mean, I can still see it there, but I'm trying to see it, but, um, but I think it really is coming back. So uh, I am taking a one a day biotin as well as the multivitamin as well as making sure I get my protein because uh, at one while I wasn't counting protein so much but now that um, since the hair loss I've been really really focusing on trying to count that protein and get all of it in. Um, I wanted to um, show you some things I've run across recently that might be helpful to you. Um, a couple of products. I see a lot of people do food haul videos and I don't think this is a really a food haul but this is just some stuff that I've come across recently. One of the things I wanted to share with you, let me take it out of here, is um, the Body by Jake or Body by Bison, and it's um, a bison product. Bison is supposed to be much leaner than beef, and this one is actually by, uh, you buy it on HSN, a home shopping network. It's called Body by Bison. I, I'd eaten it before, and I really liked it, so I wasn't... Um, you know, I knew how it tastes. I'd never eaten the breakfast strips before. They're pretty good. And each of the strips has uh, 35 calories. And they're about the length of a piece of bacon. And this is the thickness. They've got about 35 calories and 6 grams of protein. And so two of these would be 70 calories and uh, 12 grams of protein. So I just ate that a few minutes ago for dinner. Um, so anyway, they have not only the strips, but they also have like the hamburger patties. Those were the ones I tried first and I really do like those. Um, they also have a hot dog, which I really love. It's got 12 grams of protein and 120 calories, I do believe. So I think those stats are pretty good. They have a sausage, which kind of 
uh, high in calorie. It's 200 calories and only 16 grams of protein. That one's kind of high in calorie. But when you order them, you order like a package deal. And um, so you get a, the different products that they have. Um, but anyway, again, this is Body by Bison. And um, you can get it on Home Shopping Network. And I mean, I like it uh, for what it does. I think if you need something small with protein, this will be good. Um, if you have a taste for beef or want to grill or do hamburgers or hot dogs, they're a good alternative because I've noticed that the regular hot dogs don't have nearly as much protein as you would think they would. And I like hot dogs. I like just to eat the hot dog plain without the bun. Okay. So that's that. Another thing I wanted to show you, I got this at Sam's. And they're called Skinny Sticks. And they are a multi-grain sweet onion kind of snack called Skinny Sticks. And the stats on that for about 28 grams or 34 sticks, there's 120 calories, 17 grams of uh of carbohydrates, one fiber, two sugars, one protein. Um, the reason that I like that is uh, because of the crunch and the carbs. Uh -oh. Sorry, dropped my clip. The carbs are not that high. So that's one of the reasons I like that. And usually I have to break it into probably about three sittings. I don't think I can eat. Um, I couldn't eat 34 and I probably couldn't even eat half in one sitting. So uh, one one serving will make about three three snacks for me. And this package is really huge. It was like six dollars and something. I think I was just hungry that day because I, I think when I bought it I hadn't eaten and they were sampling. But this package doesn't expire until August, so I figured that would be, last me throughout the summer. And, of course, my daughter will eat them uh, every now and then, and so she's not really big into them, but, you know. And then this with some hummus, or just by themselves is fine, or maybe a little bit of hummus. And it says it has 40% uh, less fat, um, I guess, than a regular chip. But it's pretty good. It's sweet onion, multi-grain sweet onion. Another thing that I found, now this one I found yesterday while I was at the Whole Foods store, and actually I'd gone to the Whole Foods store to find the protein, the pasta, I think it was a pasta made with soybean that Hope VSG had mentioned in hers. I think she bought hers at HEB. So I guess I'm going to have to get around to HEB, but I thought for sure Whole Foods would have it, but they didn't. I was shocked. Shocked. But while I was there, I did find me these, and they're called pretzels. They're an all-natural, thin and crispy pretzel crisp. Oh, I forgot to take out one of the skinny sticks for you. But anyway, here's what it looks like, and it's a, a multi-grain. This is the everything kind. It's got all the grains in it. Uh, no GMOs. It's baked. The stats on this is for 20 of these. 20 of these. Um, there's 110 calories, uh, 20 carbs, one fiber, five sugars, and three proteins. But again, um, I could probably eat seven of these. I would be surprised if I made it to 10. I was kind of hungry tonight because I hadn't, well, I did eat, but I didn't really, I don't know, didn't really eat well more, more picked that stuff earlier in the afternoon and I was hungry tonight when I got home from work and I tried and I was eating and I think it was I don't think I made it past seven seven of these so um, again for the serving size and what you get you really do break it into a couple of snacks or I, I do but I think one of my best, best finds was this edamame. I was at Vitamin World, I think it was. And I came across this dry roasted edamame. And I think um, Amy Mays may have mentioned them. I think that's her name. And she mentioned these, having these a while back. And I'd seen her video months ago in 
Um, but I just ran across these recently, a couple of weeks ago. And as you all know, I love nuts. And so since nuts are high in fat and they've got protein, but not a quart, nuts as much as the edamame does. And this is the dry roasted. So I really crunch on them and eat them like a nut. And I love it. I love them. This is the uh, lightly salted kind. They do have the wasabi and soy kind. I think I'll try that one next because I'm a big um, wasabi and soy fan. I have those almonds at my office that I eat every now and then. I try not to eat too many nuts since I have these. And I, when I need something crunchy, I'll get one of these instead of the nuts. Because they actually have, for a quarter cup, they have 130 calories, 10 um, grams of carbohydrate, but 8 of those are fiber, and then 14 grams of protein. So, And that's for a fourth of a cup. And I've been eating these consistently for a while, so I, I think... Really what I can do is like an eighth of a cup at a sitting. And I really do try to have these in the afternoon when I want that crunch. Um, that's that's really helpful. But um, like I said, it's got 14 grams of protein for a fourth of a cup, which I think is really great. And then I could eat like half, uh, half of that, so about an eighth of a cup. So, anyway. Alrighty, on to my next product that I found recently. Uh, Less of Sarah mentioned this in one of her videos, the Matrix Peanut Butter Cookie. I bought that recently because my uh, daughter had given me a an Amazon coupon for my birthday. This one I don't particularly like. I've used Matrix. They're unflavored before. And I like that because one of their scoops had 40 calories and 10 grams of protein, so I was able to add it to um, other things. And so since I had used the Centrax before, I think I called it Matrix, but it's made by Centrax. But uh, since I had used them before, I try, I said, you know, why not? And I love peanut butter. Peanut butter, it, I love peanut butter. Um, and so I did buy it and I knew the stats on this before I bought it but I thought since I am a peanut butter fan that I would buy it anyway and it's 150 calories for one scoop but one of the amazing things that I thought I'm like this is like the biggest scoop ever this thing is huge I don't know that just looks like an awfully big scoop much bigger to me than it looked bigger than the ice up here but anyway, one scoop has 150 calories, and there's there are uh, six carbohydrates. So this is not like the ice up here that's the zero carb, and uh, one of them is fiber and three is sugar, and it has 23 grams of protein. But it's still within you know my seven gram, um, my doctor's uh, seven gram r rule because they were talking about for protein drinks and things, they should have really no more than seven grams of carbohydrates. But anyway, I, since I am such a big peanut butter fan, I got this. But then I also went online to the Tarani Syrup Company because Amazon's shipping prices for Tarani Syrup is outrageous. Go to the site itself if you're ordering Tarani Syrup. And uh, I... Because I could not find this flavor in my store, I ordered it off their site. And they were really great, really great company. It's the Tarani Peanut Butter Sugar Free. Love it, love it, love it. I am a peanut butter fan. So when I make the peanut butter shake, I put a little bit, not the full um, two tablespoons serving, but maybe um, two-thirds or a two-thirds of a tablespoon to a whole tablespoon and I put it in there and it gives it just a more of a peanut butter flavor. Um, the peanut butter flavor that the actual powder has is okay but this just adds a little bit more oomph in the fact it's sugar-free. Yes! Bonus! Another one that I got um, so since I was like I'm paying shipping anyway so I might as well get two but uh, 
I got this other one, the sugar-free coffee. And I add this one. To, I have the Isopure Colombian coffee um, shake mix. And so I add this to the coffee to give to boost the coffee flavor. And that really does boost it. Um, I add this. Uh, usually when I'm making my shakes, I'm go I usually will add a little bit of the Carb Master um, the Carb Master milk that Leah uh, VSG Leah had mentioned that she uses from Kroger's the milk that has 60 calories per serving and 11 grams of protein I'll um, that milk has a sweetener in it too and if I drink that milk straight, it makes me dizzy and gives me a headache. So I don't drink it straight. I always cut it with some kind of water. So what I'll do instead of doing a whole cup for a, ser um, for a serving, I'll just use half a cup and cut the rest with water. I'll do one part milk, which will be half a cup, and then two parts water. So uh, a cup of water because I have to, that sweetener that is just too powerful for me. And so um, what I'll do is I'll make the Isopure shake with the half a cup of Carb Master in the water. I'll put like a table, again, a tablespoon. The sweeteners in here, in these things, when I use uh, the, the full serving, it's too sweet for me. So too sweet and it also gives me like a little headache or whatever, but it's too sweet. And so I don't like it since surgery because I used to love sweet stuff, but since surgery, I, it can't be too sweet. It has to be more spicy or more of a bold flavor rather than a sweet flavor. So anyway, I just put half a, um, like again, two thirds or a, teaspoon or a tablespoon of this in there just to boost the coffee flavor so I've really been enjoying those um, I'd mentioned earlier I forgot I took them out I'd mentioned earlier about the bison and I forgot I had their hot dog sitting right here and this hot dog has 130 calories and again 12 grams of protein and they're really big. They're huge. This is a meal for me. One of these is a meal for me. And I really, I really enjoy them. Um, because it's like you're having, you know, red meat without a bunch of fat and all that stuff. And I, uh, I just, I like bison. I buy it because I like it. I like the flavor. But then I've also tried, I think it's the Amy's Extra Lean Beef that's like 90%, 96% lean or something like that and organic and all that stuff. But um, anyway, those are um, the products that I had um, that I wanted to show you and talk about. Things that I've just run across, not necessarily a food haul, but just things that I've run across that might be helpful. And it looks like I'm at 23 minutes, so I better go. And I will talk to you later. Bye.